So we will show using the properties that we discussed before that c times uh, the sum of two vectors u plus v equals c times u plus c times v. So c times u plus v we first work out what it actually says that we have u plus v. So if you write u in coordinates then it's u1, u2, etc, etc. And if we write v in coordinates, v1, v2, vn, then it says property A is that we, in the definition of the sum, it says that we take this as component. Now the scalar multiplication says that we c times the vector that we have here is the vector where each coordinate is multiplied by c. So it's the definition of B of a scalar multiplication. So now we use the distributivity of the real numbers. So C of U1 plus V1, C, yeah, U1 plus V1 equals CU1 plus CV1. So we get CU1 plus CV1. Since these are all real numbers. And we proceed as follows. So for the second coordinate we have the same and we end up with C times UN plus CVN. So now we use definition of the sum of two vectors again to see that this is actually the sum of the following two vectors C times U1, CU2, CUN plus CV1, CV2, etc. to CVN. Now use the scalar product again to see that this equals actually C times U1, the vector U. And the C can also be put outside the vector due to the same property B is C times the vector V. So we are here we have C times the vector U plus C times the vector V, which we needed to show. So for example, simplify the following expression. So we have the expression 2 times the vector A plus 3b minus 2a minus 4b. Well, the solution is as follows. 2a plus 3b minus 2a minus 4b equals, well, 3b minus 2a is 3b plus minus 2 times a. So here we have minus 2 times a plus minus 4 times b equals, well, part a. We may turn these terms around, so actually we may Calculate here 2a, a vector u plus a vector v is the same as a vector v plus a vector u, so we turn them around these terms, plus minus 4b. That's the only thing we do here. So now we leave out the brackets here because we had a property that putting brackets can be done. Where, wherever we like, as long as it concerns taking sums only. And now we see that here we have 2a and plus minus 2a, which are opposite vectors. So these are opposite vectors, so these are actually as a 0 times a, or the 0 vector, plus 3b plus minus 4b. So 0 times a is a 0 vector, so we can leave it out, because that's another property as well. So we get 3b plus minus 4b, 
which equals the sum of the two constant scalars here, 3 minus 4, so it is equals minus b.